So one day, I'm just chilling in the room with my brother. We just hanging out and then he turns on the TV and puts on this cartoon with this stretchy boy. The curious boy I was, I asked him, what is this? Then he turned and looked at me with demons in his eyes and said, It's an anime called One Piece. I think you'll really like it. Now this was before I was into anime. So when he told me this, I was like, anime? I've heard of that. That's like Naruto, right? And if my brother likes it, that means it's good, right? Right? So then later that day, I started watching One Piece. And it was nothing like Naruto. In fact, the more I watched, the more I started to think, is my brother playing a prank on me? When does this shit get good? And guess what? It never got good. So yeah, he's not my brother anymore. No one who made me go through that shit is no brother of mine. And you know what happened when my brother became up to date with One Piece? He became a crack addict. That's what happens when you get caught up to One Piece. So if you don't know what One Piece is, good. Click off this video while you still can. And if you stay watching this video, I'm assuming that you know what it is. But you probably didn't know that One Piece is the worst thing to ever be made on this planet Earth. It's the cancer of this generation. I would rather get every single type of STD than watch another episode, than read another chapter of this shit. And I'm about to tell you all the reasons right now why One Piece is garbage. First of all, the main cast of characters is just fucking shit. We got Rubber Boy here who for some reason is the strongest dude in the universe. Like, he's just rubber. You know what else is rubber? Silly bands and they're weak as hell. I bet I can beat this monkey dude in a fist fight. Therefore, his character fucking sucks. Then we got this swordsman who don't know his left from his right like a fucking idiot. Then we got foot fetish simp to keep the incels reading. We got bitch nigga, fish nigga, dog nigga, dead nigga. We also got cyborg, but more lame. There's mommy milkers number one, who's a gold digging whore. And mommy milkers number two, who says she wanted to live this entire time. Bitch, why you make them go through all that shit then? As you can see, this is a lackluster cast of characters that I could probably be in a fight. The worst main characters I've seen ever. So One Piece is already at a bad start. Second reason these goofy ass character designs. Like the world of One Piece looks like a crazy acid trip. How am I supposed to get emotionally invested and take things seriously when the characters look like this? Like wh wh what even is that? They're dressing up like they're on Let's Make a Deal. And this leads on to my third reason why it's garbage. These dumbass looking villains. When I think of a villain, I think of someone who's intimidating. Someone that can give off fear even in the audience that's watching. Not this ugly bitch. How am I supposed to be afraid of a grown ass man that's dressed up like a baby? He gonna shit his diapers while fighting me like how y'all taking this shit seriously? Like ain't nothing scary about a dude who looked like he just walked off the set of RuPaul's Drag Race. And of course One Piece gotta be racist like everything else. Number four, it's racist. They had to do the black man dirty man. Of course they made my brother the main villain of the story and also gave him diabetes. They did him dirty man. They also gave my man no fucking dentist. So now he has cartoon network brick teeth. They did my man dirty, man. Reason number five. No one dies. Out of all the amount of One Piece I've seen, ain't no important character ever died. Not even the villains that they beat die. And I know some basement cockroaches will come out and say, But, but what about Ace? But what about Ace? Ace? You mean ass cheeks eater? I don't give a fuck about Ace. He basically killed himself anyway. He didn't need to jump in front of George Lopez like that just to save Rubber Boy. Like I said, no one dies besides Ass Cheeks Eater and this old ass man. He was already walking heaven's footsteps anyway. It was gonna happen sooner or later. And the last, but certainly not least reason on why One Piece gave me AIDS. It's too long. Like there ain't no way that something that's been going on for this long is still good. I only watched it because I was a kid back then and had shit else to do. But even if you don't got anything else to do, fucking go to sleep, breathe, think. Like anything is better than watching One Piece. You telling me that something more than a thousand chapters and almost a thousand episodes is good? You stupid, don't even talk to me. That's like saying watching paint dry is peak fiction. Plus I don't even got that time anymore. You know, I gotta go outside. You know, I gotta breathe air. You know, I gotta talk to people, you know. To me, it's just common sense why One Piece is garbage. Even this dude that I found on the street agrees with me. Listen. Okay. Say it. Say it right now.
One Piece is the worst manga I've ever read. Oda's a terrible author, and I now have COVID. If you like One Piece, then you've never touched grass before. Now can I please see my family? No! You see? I told you it's fucking garbage. It's the worst thing ever documented in human history. Whoever watches it or reads it gets their mind instantly corrupted. The only reason why I'm not corrupted is because I'm just built different. And don't tell me that I should have read it instead of watched it. It's still the same shitty story, the same shitty characters, and the same shitty powers. And to those One Piece stands, you can dislike this video if you want. Just for God's sake, don't comment because if they're anything like the sippy cups that are still commenting on my sue you video, I'm gonna blow my fucking brains out. I can't stand y'all! Anyways, that's kind of all I wanted to say. In conclusion, One Piece is garbage, the fandom is a bunch of crack babies, and Oda can suck on these nuts!